का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ अव नेशन India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of this struggle every day. On December the 27th, 1911, the national anthem Jan Gan Man was first sung at the Calcutta session of the Congress. It is the first stanza of the Bengali hymn Bharato Bhagyo Vidhata written by Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore. Punjab Sindhu Gujarat Maratha Dravid Utkal Bango Sindhu Himachal Jamuna Ganga Uchhal Jal Dhitarong Jan Gan Man was adopted as the country's national anthem by the constituent assembly of india on january the 24th 1950 reverence to the national anthem is a fundamental duty in india according to article 51a of the constitution it shall be the duty of every citizen of india to abide by the constitution and respect its ideals and institutions the national flag and the national anthem sabo shubhona We also remember freedom fighter Markan Singh who helped overthrow the British Empire by joining nationalist movements in two countries India the land of his birth and Kenya his adopted homeland He was born on 27th December 1913 in Gujrawala district of erstwhile Punjab at the age of 13 he moved with his family to Nairobi Kenya Markan Singh transcended the boundaries and made common cause with the African population of Kenya to take on the British. Kenya was also a center of the Ghadar party and Markan Singh, Gopal Singh Chandan and Vasudev Singh were its chief organizers. Gadiri ture bhaje cha vichu Bharat yaad pranavan layi Urpe marad bhaje cha vichu In December 1939, Markan Singh left for India to study working class conditions and functioning of trade unionism in Bombay and Ahmedabad. In India, he addressed gatherings in Bombay and attended the Ramgarh session of the Indian National Congress as an African delegate. Singh was arrested by the British and moved from one prison to another for the next 2 years without being charged. On his release Singh's movement was restricted to his native village in Gujranwala for two and a half years. Finally, in January 1945, he was set free, after which he started working with the newspaper Jang-e-Azadi. As India was going to achieve independence on the 15th of August 1947, Singh left for Kenya. <laughs> In Kenya, Singh organized the Kenya Youth Conference and became active as the General Secretary of the East African Trade Union Congress. Singh was detained by the colonial government in 1950. He remained behind bars during the famous Mau Mau uprising of Kenya. He remained in prison for 12 years till 1961. Kenya attained independence in 1963 and Singh was granted permanent residency in the country. Markan Singh remained committed to challenging the politics of indifference and segregation till the very end and had secured his place among great leaders like Mahatma Gandhi and Nelson Mandela through his transnational struggle. Santanta bhumi ka tu varas putra Santanta We also remember social activist Punjab Rao Shamrao Deshmukh 
who was born on the 27th of December 1898. Popularly known as Bhau Sahib Deshmukh, he was associated with the Satya Shodhak Samaj of Mahatma Phule and did Satyagraha for the entry of the so-called untouchables into the Ambabai Temple, Amravati. Baba Sahib Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar supported him in this movement. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.